Welcome back to the show. I am busy chatting to Ashraf Bhatt from Al Hadiya. He's talking about the Sharia compliance aspect of the burial service. Ashraf, welcome back. No, thanks very much. Now, I want to focus on the compliance aspect. I know that you've done a lot of work on this, trying to organize the Sharia compliant board, getting different uh, rulings, different fatwas, all kinds of things you're busy with. Yeah. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, like I said earlier on, when I, when I started, I obviously spoke to a lot of sheikhs, wanted to get the input and making sure that I am Sharia compliant. Everybody said to me, yes, 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 you're all good this to was go. On, this was on a, on a very some, loose basis. Yes, yes. And then eventually, I, you know, I tested it out in the market. I saw this with huge potential. I thought, okay, now let me redo this again and let me start visiting some imams and some sheikhs and some scholars again. And I still got the same feedback. But for me, that was not good enough, Faisal, because I knew in my heart that besides the, the money aspect of the business venture, this is you putting someone in the ground, but besides that, this is you actually sending someone back to his creator. What and did you, what did you that, find out? That, that was a bit, bit scary at the time because you know what, this is Allah Ta'ala and this is his creation that you're dealing with, so I think you've got to make sure that you do this right. Essentially what would happen is if you were not compliant, um, um, the issue would be lingering in your mind to say that have you buried this person that way. And the person might be exonerated from that because he paid you for a service and that exonerates him yeah. from any wrongdoing. Yeah. But the problem is when you go downstairs, yeah. you might have the problem. Yes, you'll have, I think you're going to have a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have a very so, big so problem. So that was bothering you and you decided to... Yes, it bothered me very much. Um, you know, although I had a lot of support structures, Allah Ta'ala has blessed me abundantly with a lot of good people around me, um, like the underwriters, they were willing to go, um, they were willing to walk the whole nine yards, but still I knew there was a certain component that I needed. And eventually through the Qur'an Allah Ta'ala, I got guided to, to the right people people and eventually you know I think it was about a year ago um, I found the right people and they said okay we can assist you to become Sharia compliant where you will have a certificate because that's what I wanted to be certified I just didn't want to have Sharia compliance in my head I'd need to be on paper and um, Yes, Faisal, and we started. I think that's where all the hard work really, really started. Eh? I mean, they had to obviously scrutinize the product again. Um, we had to look at all agreements. We had to call the underwriters in and we had to say, hello, okay, now we've got to stop all of this. And this is what we want from you. And funny enough, eh, they said to us, you tell us what you need and we will provide. And that was amazing for me. That was just totally amazing because now a company had to go from rendering a normal service to still rendering a normal service, but now change the entire infrastructure to accommodate for the service, which was amazing. Uh, I can give you an example, Faisal. In the norm, let's say you are my underwriter and I've got a funeral product. What will happen is you will charge me a fee. That will be the risk component, right? So you will charge me, for argument's sake, 30 rand. So I pay you the 30 rand. If the client passes on, you obviously cover that. Okay, with Al Hadiya, it didn't work like that. What happens is, I debit the client's account for 87 and 86 cents, okay? I then, from, from the main account, which is a non-interest bearing account, okay? From the non-interest bearing account, the money gets now transferred into another non-interest bearing account, okay? But that becomes a pool, right? What happens now is now the underwriter don't get the 30 rand anymore. The 30 rand is now going to a pool, which is a non-interest bearing account. The underwriter now charges me a management fee for managing that account. So they get paid a management fee from Al Hadiya, not from the pool. Okay. And they can't so take they can't touch that pool. That so, pool so was is, that yeah. the short circuit around the compliance aspect? Yes, that's to make sure that that is Sharia compliant because and, there, and there's no fluctuating figures there. No. Uh, that's a standard um, fee that goes off. Yes, standard fee that goes off. And obviously that money goes in the pool and that's the money. If there is a janaza, the money will come out of that pool because that money is non-interest bearing money. And that's what... what I have some questions on, perhaps on behalf of the consumer. Yeah. Um, what if, for example, how do you write up someone onto, onto the policy, if I can call it that, if that's what you're calling it, and maybe knowing that I might be HIV positive, I might have a terminal cancer or something like that. How do you protect yourself as a company or do you write the people in that stage? We, we write up anybody. Uh, it's just there's a six months uh, waiting period. So, so you can't die in six months? No, you can't die in six okay, months. So, you so better stay alive and uh, be healthy for six months. <laughs> <laughs> okay. but, but that's from a health point of view. Yeah. What if I sign up now and there was a car accident which was we something that you. was... We cover you so natural you cover and it. accidental. We cover you natural and accidental. Okay. In the six-month period? In the six months, right. we only cover you accidental. 
Okay, that's yes. with the with the after six months in. become your natural. Okay, so you, you essentially you're saying anyone can sign up, but if there's any chronic disease that you may have passed on from in that six months, you're not covered. Yeah. And but if there's an accidental death, that you are covered. Yeah. I, I think that was a good line to take from your side yeah. because um, I think it's a fair and, and it, it's a middle road to take. I also think, Faisal, if you think of be, just being ethical. Yeah, and, and I'm sure you heard of a lot of the stories where people join medical aids and they know they're going to die and all of a sudden they claim and it happens all the time. And I think from an ethical point of view, I mean, this is a business. I mean, we've got to sustain. I mean, we've got an admin department. We've got, we've, got to, we've got to fit the bills. So, I mean, you know what, it's, it's fair also for you for us to see within six months, listen, this is an honorable client. Um, you know, this, he didn't wait for the second month. He knew he was going to pass on and we had to pay him up. So yes, so the six discretion months. can be yeah. be used. Yeah. What happens in the instant of a person is paying for six months, um, and they come back to you, and, and knowing that you might be reaching out to a part of the community that might be struggling financially. So hypothetically, someone's paying for six months, and the seven and eight month uh, they approach you and say that I'm having a problem, I cannot pay. Is all the cover very lost? Good, very good question. I actually got the guy's name. Because you're dealing with people yeah. that, that might not be able to pay all their, yeah. all their accounts. Faisal, that's why it's called Al Hadia. Al Hadia yeah. stands for the gift. Um, and that's why I've built this company and this product on the basis of giving back to the community. I had a client that phoned me. And funny enough, you actually raised this question about three weeks ago. His name is Farouk. He's been one of our clients, a very old client. And he phoned and he said, listen, yeah, I can't. I've lost my job. I want to cancel. I said, you know what? Chef, don't do it now. Just give me some time. Uh, give me a day to get back to you. And we started to do some recent shit that the client has been with us. You know, I'll tell you what I'll do is, don't stress. I will pay for you for six months. Mm. So Al Hadia will cover him for six months. Mm. In six months' time, obviously, he's obviously going to interact with us and say, listen, the things are okay. I'm back at work. And then he carries on. And that's what we're all about. Now, do you remember in the olden days, you used to have the Yaap Makar scheme? Mm. Okay. And this is the beautiful part. I heard about it. The Yaap Makar scheme. Yeah. This is the beautiful part. I think it, it existed ancient years ago where what people used to do is everybody used to come together and put money together so if you got a crisis in your family we will help you now this is where the pool comes in you see because they belong to a pool and this is just my outlook of sharia as well you belong to a muslim company you belong to a pool so you know what you find yourself in a challenging situation and happens to the best of us i mean i've been i'm sure you've been there and it's nice to know that you are if when you are in that situation there's a helping hand and saying that you know what we understand, this is life, we've been there, so we're willing to assist you. So yeah, that's what makes it beautiful, eh? Nashif, we're ending the conversation shortly. Okay. But it's been a couple of months now that you've been operating, how's it been going? It's been great. What's the response of the public? Very good. It's been very good. Uh, I can tell you now, we we um, busy with Habibia School as well. Um, we've created a fundraiser for them. We were signing up the parents and money goes back to the school. That's been amazing. Dr. Desai has been amazing, amazing. And I've got a lot of people just phoning me. I mean, we've got a, a, a battle society now phoning us to convert in their clients. I think because they realize that we've got a lot of structure. And yeah, it's been great. It's been, it's been amazing. It's been, it's, been a, it's been a nice, nice journey to be on there. Ashraf, it's been interesting chatting to you. I'd like to invite you soon again to find out awesome, more about yeah. how it's going. Awesome. Your contact details has been on the screen for the duration of the program. Okay. Ashraf Bhatt with Al Hadia, more about on his website and you can contact him on the details provided. Until next time, goodbye.